In this video, we're gonna show you the new shared node feature in Blackmagic. It will probably blow you away, and it is a massive, massive time saver for colorists. So stay right there, we'll be right back. Hi, this is Kerry once again with another video tutorial on Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve 15, and this is Beta 1. Brand new stuff here, and I've been showing you some of the new things and how to use them. So today is all about using the shared node. This is one of the biggest time savers I can imagine when doing coloring. It is such a time saver. When you have to go through and put a color grade on everything or change the LUT or do something across the entire footage or even a big segment of footage, this is really gonna save you a ton of time. So here I've got a project open, I've got a, a handful of clips on it, and I'm just gonna go over to the coloring page. And actually something I would recommend doing if you're, you're gonna be starting on a big project is just start off with a shared node. And then if you don't use it, you don't use it. But if you do use it, you've already got it done and now you can just put it across everything and have a wonderful day. So here I've got some footage of Bingham Lake uh, here in Colorado and I'm just gonna kinda, I'm gonna use the LUT browser here to see what some of the LUTs are going to look like when it works. Well, we'll just throw it on. There we go. Little delay there. So we've got a nice pop of color there from the original. And I'm going to do just a tiny bit of adjustments on here and bring the the highlights up a little bit, bring the shadows up just a hair, and do a basic, uh, let's see, we'll do a mid-tone adjustment, bump that up a hair, and then I have my sharpening turned down in my camera, so I know 0.46 or so is going to give me a really good image, and this is going to be my starting point for everything. So I might as well share this across the, uh, the whole scene or the whole video. If I wanted to go back and change it later, I'd have to copy one, paste it and copy and paste and copy. And it can be a real nightmare. So I can just come up here and right click on here and make it a shared node. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now I copy that and I go to my next one and I paste it in, paste it in, paste it in. Now, of course, your exposure on different scenes is gonna be different. So you still might have to do some, some tuning on it, you know, to get things exactly where you want, you know. And so I'll just create a new node and, you know, pull my shadows back down or do a color boost or, you know, something like that. So now I'll just kind of keep going here. And again, here's another one that's a little too hot. So we'll bring, oh, I got it. I'm gonna do a new node. And so it's like copying a layer in Photoshop and then uh, adding additional adjustment layers. To me, this is super cool, very handy, very fast. I can whip through here and do a real rough adjustment with with very little effort and let's see how many I got a couple more here so do to do, do I'm just gonna paste it into all of them since we're not gonna be fully editing this it's not gonna matter a whole lot boom there's a nice bump all right so now I've got this shared node in here and I want to change it so maybe I want to change the LUT to something different uh, Let's see. 
maybe something a little cooler or a little more gold. But you see, that is really messing with my exposure there. So I think I'm just going to try some, uh, some orange and teal just to mix it up. So you can drop that LUT over there, do another little adjustment, and it's updated every single clip. Huge time saver. So if you're looking to do something, um, oh, let me unlock it. It didn't actually save that. So now I'll go in, put the new LED on it, and I could see it update all the way across the timeline. Go back in, say lock that node, and huge. I absolutely love this feature. This is going to be a massive time saver for people. So check this out in DaVinci Resolve 15. Right now it's in beta. Yeah, so you can try the beta if you want or wait for it to come out. And then um, check out the other features here on uh, the channel that I've been putting together to show the different things that are in DaVinci Resolve 15. If you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. Share it with some friends. Post it on social media, whatever, to, to uh, help spread the word that DaVinci Resolve 15 is out there and it has some really cool features in it. Click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon and get notified every time we do a new video. So thanks for watching. This has been Carrie. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.